So how much you putting up? All right. I'm in. Peace. Hello? You ready to do this, man? Yeah, I'm ready. It's a lot on the table. Yeah. How much we talking? Ten grand. Each? Each. You know they got a heavy squad, right? Yeah, so do we. I'll make some phone calls. Alright, let's do it, man. So we can do this? Yeah, let's do it, man. Alright. Alright. Ten grand. You know you're crazy, right? So what's this happening, man? What? Night. Yo, oh, this thing is crazy, man. What's up? What's up? It's Kateria, and you're on Exposed TV. And today we got Jaheen, face off dancer, actor, drawer, overall artist. And here you go. Here you go. He's right here. <laughs> What's up? What's up? What's up, Jaheem? How are you? I'm all right. Um, doing okay. Allergy season is kicking in, so you know. I know. I mean, that's how I'm feeling. Like, honest, you guys know I don't sound like this, but um, I, I feel yeah, like my allergies are on like 100. Um, but good. I'm happy you're here. Yeah, it's good to um, be here. We rock it out. I know. Post it's, TV. It's, <laughs> <laughs> and for, I want to start off first, like the name Face Off. Yeah. I know Face Off is on everything. That's your brand. Mm -hmm. um, that's something that the name and logo that you created. Right, right. So let's start off a little bit. Why Face Off? Where did that name come from? Um, for me, pretty much like um, throughout high school. Like I know, like every time I was like in any like dance performance or any set, mm -hmm. it was just a lot of me. Um, for one, making a lot of facial expressions. Like, I had a lot of faces. I had a face for every move. Like, you tell me, I'm here, I'm like, or I'm over here, I'm just doing something totally different. And um, also, in high school, we had, like, a, a prompt circle during lunch. Oh, nice. There was a lot of battles. And, you know, I just was, at that time, that's just when I did a lot of battling. And I was just okay with battling people. And it's funny because um, my guy, Reggie, um, his name used to be, like, not even, it wasn't something that he took seriously, but we used to call him Kill Off, and then Shaquan would show off, so. It was so funny, we just had Kill that. Kill off, show yeah, off, face, face off. off. Yeah, it was pretty <laughs> cool. So that's what, really where that came from. It, where it came from, nice, yeah. nice, and you just stuck with it. Yeah, and it's you know, catchy. Yeah, and then when I went to, you know, I went to college, and I just really started to, I decided that I wanted to, like, really hone in on that brand. Because it only makes sense, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I had that name for a while, why not really just elevate it and make it something more? And I had a friend there that um, I met in a, I think it was an interactive media class. And I didn't realize that he was really nice at graphic design and he actually did a lot of designs for things at um, Movement Lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And um, he created, you know, different flyers and things like that for them out there. He was just, you know, giving me like a rundown of what I could do with my logo. He's like, listen, you could just do this, this F and this O and make it look crazy like this. And all the while he's telling me how I can do it, he's already designing it and it came out fire and I was like, yo, I'm, I'm actually going to keep that right there. Yeah, the and, logo is yeah. catchy. It just like goes like it's just right together. Right, right. Yeah, definitely. So, all right. So we got dancer, actor, drawer. Where, which one comes first? Uh, dance, first and foremost. Dance. I mean, okay. that's just something that I've always done. Go ahead, nigga, high wire that shit. Come and bring it through the hood. Stop bad that bitch. If a nigga wanna go and stop riding that shit, leave it up the blind at the cops find that shit. With the same money, niggas not giving no fuck with the keys. Little nigga gon' give them on up riding these. Little nigga grown shit on that truck. Pretty please, my nigga, for a nigga get stuck when you. Drawing was kinda in the same realm of things as well. Just cause, um,. That was something I also did from childhood. Like, I just see a picture and I just wanted to copy it and draw it down. And now, believe it or not, I actually used to play a drum set too. And um, oh, nice. so I just used to be around music. So at first, when I was getting ready to go to high school, I thought I was going for music. Uh -huh. I thought I was going to be playing a drum set because I was always banging on tables in middle school and I would get in trouble for it. And, um, you know, my mom was like, you know, you can go to school and when you go to high school, you can uh, go for music. And I was like, okay, cool, I might do that. And then I was always drawing. She told me I could do that too and dance just, you know, Took the cake. Took the cake. Yeah. Yes, and you are definitely an amazing dancer. I mean, Thank I you. personally have been to your classes <laughs> and I've seen your videos, and they're dope. Speaking about your videos, do you direct them all? 
Um, for the most part, yeah. I mean, I come up with like a concept or something that I would want to do, mm -hmm. and um, I do direct it. My last one, like the best one that I've had, that was actually uh, directed by Junior, Junior Cias. Oh, that guy's crazy. Um, yes, he was, was just, on last season. Yeah. Junior was sad. Yeah, he's the guy. He's my guy. So he directed your last video. Yeah. And which video was that? Steamer. Steamer, yeah. Like my yes. best video to date. And Junior had a lot to do with that. Um, Izzy also had a lot to do with that. Izzy, shout me. out to Izzy. Yeah, and um, TN, shout out to TN for just filming that. He came up to me and was like, listen, man, I want to shoot a video. I want to do something crazy. And I was like, listen, I plan on shooting this um, dance steamer. Like, I want to do that. So I'll be reaching out to you. Yeah. And he was just all for it. So shout out to TN. You nice, know what I mean? Nice. How long did that video take? Um, well, I had the dance created already. Um, it's kind of funny how it started. I was just kind of like in a studio, you know, working on another dance. And I was with Emily. She usually assists me for everything I do. Nice. And um, she was like, I want to learn steamer. I've never learned it before. I was like, all right, I mean, you can learn it now if you want. So I just taught her. And as I taught her the dance, I like finished it and decided like, yo, I'm gonna keep going right now. And my juices were just flowing and it just all came out. And I was like, listen, I'm doing this video now. Yeah, it was a very detailed and video. Reggie actually sparked the idea. He was just like, yo, you should have cars in the background. And I was just like, yo, I'm gonna put cars in the background and then I'm gonna have a whole bunch of people. This is about to be on some like fast and theories. And, and Junior, that, that's what you were yeah, thinking. And me and Junior just ran with it. We were jumping up and down, like with a bunch of different ideas. We started contacting people like that night, so. Wow, it immediately. Didn't really take long. Yeah, we had like three rehearsals for that. Like I had one rehearsal with one group of guys, another one with another group, and one rehearsal all together. And we just was like. And then you pieced that all together. Yeah. Was like, Let's just nice. get to it. So in total, like three days and a half. Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. Anything I mean, happened during really like, the shoot? Um. Any like fallouts that you were just like, ah, is it I, like? Is this gonna follow through? Am I gonna complete this video? Entirely no. no. Um, I was I was kind of nervous though because we did get there. I was there early, of course. I'm supposed to be there early, and I'm yeah. like, no, people aren't here yet. And I don't know what to do. But I mean, nobody. It wasn't the time yet. But at the same time, as more people started to come, and I realized it was getting kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. um, and unfortunately, we can't get this in the shot. Like my dad came by, and he had brought like some of his friends like that drive motorcycles, and they had oh, different yeah. colors in the bike. But um, he had to work in the morning, so he left like right after he showed up. And right after he showed up, cops came. And there was like a whole bunch of people out there, and I thought we were gonna get shut down. But fortunately, they let us, you know, shoot that video, and it's like one of my best to date. So. And it's so amazing. Like the video is like to the T. Like thank you, thank you. the chance the rapper he needs to see this chance. See this video. <laughs> once you, once you see this interview, remember Jaheem and see this video that he created along with Junior. It's, it's his choreography. Mm -hmm. um, it's an amazing uh, video, so check it out, Chance the Rapper. The dope part about that is um, Brian Fresco is the person that actually made the song. Chance is just featured on it. And um, oh. Brian Fresco saw it and he like told me it was dope. And that was pretty cool. Like I was excited about that, so. Nice. Yeah. So what, do you have like a least favorite project? A least favorite project yeah. that I've done. Um, I, I know that's hard. Them. Like, so you, oh, okay. I have a few, but I just like, but I think that's just that just goes with you know. Like being you your own afterwards, worst yeah. seeing it, and you're exactly. just like. And to be honest, I couldn't even tell you which one it is right now. We'll have to look at it, but I guarantee you, it's like five different videos that <laughs> I just absolutely dislike at this point. So, what did you dislike about them? Is it the fact like? I can imagine when you think of a choreography, like, or you think of a dance, you think of it in your head, you're like, oh shit, you know, like, that would be dope. Mm -hmm. And then, do you fully execute it, like, after you see the video or the product, like, what you, like, how you thought about it in the beginning? Or it totally comes out different? Um, at times, I think, like, the execution could be better. Um, okay. A lot of times, I do think, like, I didn't execute the way I wanted to, and sometimes it could be based on situation. Um, one of the videos now that like I look back at and I laugh at, um, but I'm actually still proud of because it was like my jump start was like my Chris Brown demo. At that like you can see Shaquan in that video he has like a Chris Tucker haircut he doesn't have his dreads <laughs> and then um I see a few of the friends that I've had you know in the years that are like doing other bigger things in different cities mm -hmm. and um 
the way I executed that video, like I edited the video front to back and I planned on a sunny day. It rained that day. Mm -hmm. But we were just like, you know what? Let's dance in this rain. And it actually did help it come out better. But at the same time, I look back at it now and I'm like, yo, I was so corny. <laughs> <laughs> and then on top you of that, like with the cuts, it. like I just didn't do it right. But it still worked. I mean, that was one of like the, the highest viewed videos that I've ever had. So, nice. it, did, so it did well. How, so, Dancing, drawing, mm -hmm. acting all came together. You mm -hmm. were very young. You were just, you started yeah. at a young age. Now, what are you going to do with that? Like, um, are you moving? I heard. I so, don't yeah. Know. So, what's going on with that? I'll be going to LA. Ah! Um, I'll be there in like seven days. So, so like a week from today. Um, this really, content on the days. Yeah, like I put, a, I just put a number seven on my on my Snapchat earlier today. I'm oh, really that would have been. Yeah, that's exactly what it meant. Like I got seven <laughs> days. It's just a countdown for me. I have yet to do anything though. Like I haven't started packing. I haven't like figured out how I'm getting my car to LA. Like I'm just like. You're just going. Yeah, I'm just. What makes I just you want to just go? Um, time waits on over. So, mm -hmm. I don't want to sit around and just get old and let my bones rest up and just not be able to do exactly what I want to do when I get there so and plus the motivation and I thought it, I was talking to one of my guys Brian Mello the person I'm staying with out there he was telling me like dude you're in Boston right now struggling doing exactly what you'd be doing if you're here so why are you wasting time like you might as well just come here now yeah and I was just like you know what that is so true like I'm gonna be doing exactly what I'm doing here in LA and I shouldn't be wasting any time yeah because I could be chasing Especially. dreams at the same time while I'm trying to level up and you feel LA is the best place for that? Right. And as far as like drawing and um, acting, I mean for drawing, I don't really plan on doing anything with that too, like too heavily. I think for me right now, I just draw just to pay attention to detail. Mm -hmm. um, I just try to pay close attention to lines and just different things that my eye can catch. And I just try to incorporate that when I dance because, you know, mm -hmm. A lot of dance is also paying attention to detail. Yeah. And trying to just You definitely pay attention to detail. Yeah. Like especially when you teach. Mm -hmm. I can see that like and, and you definitely break it down like legs, arms, yeah. fingertips, whatever you need <laughs> to do. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean I, just, I think mental. it's important. I think it's very important because like a lot of times if you watch videos these days, everybody always switches things up and nobody really focuses on the cleanliness. Mm -hmm. And that's okay, like be an original be your own person, but um, sometimes you do have to like try to stick to the script and like try to follow along and do things exactly the way the choreographer intended. So yeah, I try to pay attention to detail a lot. So were you ever, you've always been that type of teacher that you would pay attention to detail. Um, that's kind of how. I, that's kind of how I came up. I mean, just just learning from me at dance group. I was just they were it was like really militant. Like we just knew anytime we hit the stage we had to be clean. Everybody had to be on point. So I took that with me and like anytime I teach. It's the same thing, or if I'm learning from somebody else, I apply that same respect and try to like make their vision come to life. So, so what are your favorite styles to dance? I know you dance more than one. Um, right now it's just hip hop for me. Um, I do like street jazz sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, and house is pretty cool. I just need to get into the fundamentals. But right now, like what I really want to just dabble in is just trying to freestyle. So. Freestyle. Yeah, I need to get And that's a what lot you started with, right? Actually, no. I started straight up choreography. I mean, I was always watching videos and trying to learn how to freestyle, but. But then, like, freestyle, it's like a whole different level. Yeah. It's just like they get into their own movement, their own element. It's, it's freedom. It's pretty dope. Yeah, it's freedom, definitely. It's absolutely freedom. So you're going to LA, mm -hmm. you don't know really what you're doing, but you know what you're doing, you know what your purpose mm -hmm. is out there. Right. Do you plan on auditioning? Do you have any auditioning uh, auditions set up? Like,. Um, Can we get a little bit more? <laughs> right now, I don't have any like auditions lined up. I know, like when I do get out there, I do want to audition for like different agencies. Nice. Um, so you want to go uh, towards ag agencies mm -hmm. for it, not more like gigs. Yeah, and I know for me personally, like even when I first get out there, it's a lot more of just training for me because like, mm -hmm. okay, I've, I've taught here, but I know like I'm still a student to this. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I have a lot to learn as well. Like. I can't sit here and just say that I've learned everything because I haven't. I don't think anybody really has. And there's something that you could take from anybody in any class. So even from everyday life, just like I could sit here and take like a move from how you're sitting. I can just kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like the way you're yes. sitting just adds something to, to anything. Like that's a learning experience right there. I probably would have never thought to do anything like that. Yeah. So right. I kind of just think, yeah. I just, so that's I'm your attention to detail. Exactly. Like looking at everything and just incorporating yeah. everything into your movement because it just makes it cool, original, different, right. not the same thing, mm -hmm. which you're still being consistent in the clarity and, and cleansiness in it, which you explained, but 
you're still presenting something different. Right. So let's talk about a little bit about your group, Face Off. Mm -hmm. Like, when did it start? How did you think about it? And let's go. Um, Face Off Elite. I actually and didn't even have a name for it at first. Yeah. I was kind of just like, yo, I don't know if I want to name this group after myself or whatever, but um, I remember I was actually just having this conversation with Shanice and Darlin. Yes, really, um, she's the Shanice. Yeah, Shanice and Shanice. Darlin. Shanice, okay, yeah. hold on. Personal shout out to Shanice. <laughs> I love her. She did the first um, flyer in design right. for Exposed. She's amazing, great soul, and yeah. she's such a wonderful dancer. And you're going to meet her. Yeah, so, I appreciate Shanice a lot. Like, she yes. shows me a lot of love, and I really respect her 100%. Like, she's so talented, and she don't even realize it a lot of times. So. <laughs> but I was talking to her and Dawn actually recently, and it was funny because the day I was talking to them, the next morning I woke up, and there was a memory that came up on my timeline. And um, that memory was a status that I posted a year before. And it was, I didn't, I didn't even know it was a year. I was literally just saying, like, if I was to start a group, like, I wanted to start a small group, for people to just train, no performances, like just training. Mm -hmm. Who would be down? I expected like, you know, like five comments or, you know, maybe like 10 likes. And the way that it happened was kind of crazy for me. Like it actually really humbled me. Like a lot of people actually wanted to learn something from me, but it was yes. overwhelming in the moment. So I didn't jump on it. I was like, listen, I wanted to do a small group. I don't know how to tell people no. Yeah. I don't know how to just be like, yeah, maybe not right now. I just want to work with a small group of people. And then like, what makes those people so special? And why am I denying everybody else when they just want to train? You know what I mean? So yeah. Yeah. I kind of just like took that upon myself and was like, yeah, I'm not doing this right now. But then later on throughout the year, like it started in like, I think it was November. I had an audition for the group and I decided to make it bigger. And it was just like, listen, this is what we're going to do. It's just training, no performances. And um, that's what we do. I mean, we just train. I had my last one this Friday. And then it's that must be hard for them. Yeah, they're kind of upset about it, but hey, I gotta, I gotta do what I gotta do at the yeah. end of the day. And you know, if I do come back, we'll probably just set up. Like is a, it gonna a still stay active? Is somebody gonna take over, or this is something that you're just? You no, know, I kind of thought gonna... about that, but my my main fear with that situation yeah. is just the simple fact that I'm not here to facilitate anymore. And because yeah, I'm gone, I'm sure. not entirely sure how seriously people will take that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, because it's my name, yeah. but now somebody else is the face of that, and it doesn't really match the person. Yeah. It's so true. I'm just not sure how people, how seriously people will take that. I love that you took that step. You know that that leadership, yeah. that step to go out, provide this for the community, and if I can say it's free or no charge, right? Like, well, there was a fee they, like there in was the beginning. A, it was just a group fee, like a regular yeah. fee, like any other group would. But, um, but it's something that is just like you, it's literally like going out to dinner or something. Right. It, you know what I mean? Like, but you're getting that training from, um, people and, you know, someone that is getting training from other people that are trying to just get a, you know, a group of just the community of dance together and, to, right. to be great. I mm. mean, because that's what you see in other cities. I mean, I can say that I've seen the dance scene in New York, Pennsylvania, right. Miami, and just going through those three places, um, they really support their dancers in a way that just, just like, mm. okay, we're all gonna train, we're all gonna dance. And right. I think um, that's great that uh, I'm seeing that here, and, you're, and I hope to see a lot of it here. And, kind of um, Boston grow and expand and just go and for our people to go to these other cities and just show what we got right 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 it's just it's all it's really about the the training it's mm -hmm. not you can't put yourself out there and then expect like amazing results like I right. think it's a, it's a really about learning from each other and learning from the right people right because exactly. I know that you know some people that you might not feel like you've gotten the best uh, knowledge mm -hmm. but that doesn't happen with Jaheen because Jaheen <laughs> was just amazing I could just say that speak for myself yeah. so face off is uh, when you come back possibly but that that's something that was re really great how many Thank people you. did you have on um, the team again? it was 31 wow. I think total in total but um over time like there were people that showed interest in the group so what I did because you know I did accept some people into the group who unfortunately couldn't continue mm -hmm. uh, for whatever reason you know those different cases yeah but um, when those people did decide that they couldn't be a part of the group anymore, I did open up, you know, invites to those others that didn't have that placement, and I gave them that spot. 
and um you know they came in and it was almost like seamless like they've always been there so nice it's pretty solid and like like you said it was just all about the training you know yeah. we don't even really have that in boston like you yeah. see it in la you see it yeah. in new york so i kind of just wanted to do that people were sick of like going to groups just to yeah. like learn the same routine yeah. over and over just preparing for one performance to then come back and you know clean the set again because now they have another show yeah. and so on and so forth there were certain things that people wanted to work on specifically yeah. so i wanted to be able to do that for them oh, well i hope when you come back you definitely host a workshop or somebody can um, step up to that leadership role and create a training team. Why not? I mean, let's follow this. This is what, like he says, and like what a lot of people say, and I agree with it. New York and California have these things. Yeah. So what is, before you leave, just give Boston, you know, because you're from Boston, yeah. a little <laughs> advice, a little love. Let's, you know, really straight, like look up to the camera, like just, you know, um, tug, what do you get for the dancers and just overall artists, you know, coming from you, you know, you're someone very influential in the community, so definitely um, it'd be amazing to hear what you have to say. I think for Boston, like, it's just a lot of, stay true to you, like, I would literally just say, focus on what you need to focus in, focus in on and focus on what makes you a better you and a better dancer. Also show love and support. Like there's nothing wrong with that at all. Like I see a lot of people like kind of, you know, shunning of other, of other artists. And it just doesn't make sense to me. I mean, you can, like I said to you earlier, you can take anything from anybody. You can learn anything from anyone. And I don't care if you feel like this person has their counts wrong, but they have a vision in their mind. Like they have something that they want to, you know, that they're trying to perfect or they're trying to, you know, show you or give off. And like they're sharing a part of themselves with you. We're all here to share. That's what yeah. art is about. So yeah. I think if they're sharing something, why not take it? And don't just wait on people from L.A. and New York to come to teach a class and yeah. you pay top dollar for that class when you have people that are here every single day that are teaching and doing the same exact thing. They're giving you the same information that this person is giving you, but because they have a name in Hollywood, those are the people that we, you know, we validate and that we value. But hip hop actually started in the streets. It didn't start in Hollywood. Yeah. So I think people need to respect that and understand that they need to show some some love to their community and some people that are actually here doing what they do because they want to give back to you. Yes. Yo, that was the realest. <laughs> that was the realest. Yes. I mean, shoot, we got to end the show on that <laughs> note because that was just amazing. And people follow Jaheem, Jaheem, Face Off, everything, right? Yeah. So I mean, um, IG is yeah. face.off.official. Yeah. Um, my like page is Jaheem Face Off Aline. Um, Twitter, Jaheem Face Off. That's really it. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So, Jaheem Face Off, Twitter, yeah. Facebook, IG, all of that. Follow him. He's yeah, I'm, have... I'm like most active on IG. So, IG. Yeah. I think IG is like the active thing going on right yeah. now. But you know what? Follow him. He's going to have a lot of things coming to you because Jaheem literally comes up with different choreographies probably like every week, every day. Um, I could just personally see that, you know, when you follow him, you'll see that too. But uh, thank you for tuning in. You're definitely going to hear, like I said, more about Jaheem. Uh, like I said, follow him. I don't even know how many times to say this. Like you need to follow great people. And like he said, the community, people that are trying to give back. So this is your girl, Kateria, a.k.a. Casey Exposed, and you're here on Exposed TV, so catch us.